Hello. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good to see my friends. What's up, Frank? How you doing? Norse is in the house. Andreas. Hello. Michelle. Good to see everyone here. Feel free to say hello like I'm doing in chat right now. And if you're joining me elsewhere, say hello there as well. Notice I'm mainly reading chat over on Behance.net forward slash Adobe Live. And uh, I have a new uh, mic. So hopefully, thank you, Michelle. I was waiting for that. Uh, yeah, just swapped out mics. Have this little, like, I don't know, Bob Barker um, game show mic, which is kind of nice. But uh, it's good to have you here. I'm glad uh, you guys can hear me okay. It's good to see you, Sam Peterson, Kent. Roberts, everybody, uh, this is a uh, file new show, just so you know. New show where we talk about all the new things going on at Adobe and within the design world. So I'm glad you guys are here. So I'm going to just move that over a little bit. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it works out pretty well. All right, so you can see the pack schedule we have going on. We're super slammed with Max stuff as well, just so you know. Uh, hello, Joy Tucker. I see you there. Awesome. So, uh, kind of click through some of the some of the guests we have this week, and then we'll get into news, and then we'll get into some creative and some tips, and maybe I'll I'll uh, show something that's not quite released yet is the plan. And uh, cross my fingers. Hopefully, I won't get in trouble. But as you can see, we'll start right here with our lovely guests. So we have, as you can see, boy, I can hardly read that. It's so small. Um, but Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge has been going on, so we have uh, Voodoo Val who's doing that. She's going to be up next. Uh, of course, everybody knows and loves her, myself included. She's awesome. So good to have you, Voodoo Val, just so you know. Uh, and then we have our guests that may not join us quite so regularly, and we can take a look at their work because we have some hand lettering from inspira of inspirational quotes uh, with Huston. Wilson. So let's just take a look at his work. Let's just get inspired by what's out there. You can see right in here, Huston's work, right? This, is, this isn't this is what I necessarily think of when I think of, uh, you know, inspirational quotes, but I love this almost so much more. Like, I love, I love this. I love this angular stuff. Like, come on now. This is amazing. Huston's work's amazing. Look at this. Hey, you want to take out some color? Yeah, and it's still awesome. Stop it already, Huston. Does great work. So again, tune in day two. Uh, that's happening. So Huston's work's super cool. Nimeral, good to see you. Um, MD Sajib as well. Uh, Valdemar as well. Cool. Um, Biola, cool. Thank you for posting that as well, Frank. Too kind. Uh, then we have a food vlogger as well. So again. Just kind of like people even that just have an audience with their work, right? Food with soy, right? Talking about uh, f vlogging, um, food, and on a, honestly, uh, mental health as well. Um, so you can check out her Instagram, hosted by James Bonanno, who's amazing in and of himself. But go ahead and follow Food with Soy and her 137,000 followers just on Instagram alone. You get the idea, right? Uh, so you got it. That is that was yesterday and today, and uh, that's that's what's happening. Do I not have the rest? Let's take a look. Also, kind of moving along, I have this on the schedule as well, but you could always kind of jump down here. You'll see the schedule right here. I'm just their hype man, just so you know. Um, and uh, that is my goal. So just to kind of hype up these artists. Let me open up these two really fast. As you can see right here, photo editing and Lightroom Classic, right? And Photoshop with Teresa Fritas. So you can check out Fritas, uh, Teresa's work. Uh, right in here, we probably made her start at Behance page if she wanted to live stream, so that's what's happening here. 
And uh, which I'm like, why would you not have a Behance page? Why not let people discover you? Uh, and then we have uh, branding for a charcuterie food truck with Ali Rose Co. So this is one of those streams that you're gonna be introduced to so much more than just design. And yeah, she's gonna be using everything from Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, but you're gonna learn so much more. Oops, I accidentally clicked on Alex's. There's Ali's, there we go. Allie's work, as you can see, like so. Again, branding, you got it. A lot of uh, Lightroom Classic, basically photography and design um, focused a little bit more this Thursday and Friday. You guys get the idea. Okay, pink dessert, I'm not sure where that's coming from. But yeah, I'm all for it. I'm all into that red dye number five. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. You guys get the idea. We have a full week planned, and uh, I'm happy you guys are here. So let's kind of move into news, if I could. All right, welcome back, everybody. Good to see you. All right. Welcome, Ryan Benoit. What's up, Ryan's been producing new projects. Feel free to click on anybody's name if you're on Behance, and you can go ahead and stalk them and follow them. Check out the artists that uh, are, um, you know, basically your fellow peers. Oh, all right. There we go. Why is this page talking to me? But let's talk about Apple a little bit really fast. Um, and uh, you can see the new MacBooks that got unveiled yesterday. You guys interested in these new MacBook Pros? MacBook Pro laptop. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little, little bit more expensive. Touch bar is going away, right? I'm not sure if you saw that. Goodbye, touch bar. I have one on my laptop. Right, and I never use that. I hardly ever use that touch bar. I personally love feeling the keys. It's the same reason I'll say it right now that I liked the BlackBerry, because I was able to type under my desk, right? Feeling the keys rather than looking at them. And uh, I'll say that's the, f the fault with the touch bar and even the iPhone. There, I said it. Make a flip screen. Bring back the Razer. Right, and then we have this lovely display. It's gonna be a larger display, but also has this notch. So anybody that's doing any sort of design for screens, yeah, we gotta deal with this notch uh, on desktop. So I'm like, oh great. I gotta, look at how thick that thing is. They tried to hide it in the keynote, but we know it's there, right? Matthew Roberts, hello. Yeah, here's the beast with a notch though. Everybody is saying that. Um, so I think that's just fascinating that that notch is there. Of course, supporting their new uh, chips, right? The M1 Pro and M1 Max. And guess what, everybody? Things are getting faster and better. Yeah, no surprise, right? No surprise there. And third generation AirPods, just to make yours. It's like it's a company trying to make money. <laughs> and I'm sure they're great. I love that they're wireless. There's wireless uh, charging for these new uh, AirPods, which is pretty darn cool. So that way I could definitely lose my AirPods, right? Oh, if I can't have them tethered to the wall, I'm not, and they're like wirelessly charging. I don't know, I'm not gonna know where they are, right? Uh, HomePod minis uh, as well. Uh, and then miscellaneous uh, other things. So, cool. You guys get it. Basically, it's these new MacBook Pros with the notch in them that are going to be a beast, but uh, also have that uh, notch. And that's about it. All right. Yeah, it's just a notch. You're right. Is it that big of a deal? Hmm. Things you get up in arms about, you know, things that fill time on a, on a news show. Well, that's what that is, right? Is it really going to have a huge impact on your life? Probably not. All right. Yeah, yeah, Norris has to sell two kidneys, at least two kidneys. I don't know where you're gonna get more than just your two kidneys, but okay. <laughs> you're scaring me. <laughs> All right, so again, faster charging would be fantastic. Um, let's kind of move on. So again, new stuff coming from Apple, mainly the laptops. Um, what is going on? 
<laughs> Let's take a look at another thing that's happening. Uh, new design adjacent podcast from AIGA. I usually keep up on their news, um, but it's a, a new series. Basically kind of like C-suite, so uh, designing for the future is what this is all about. So again, um, this is just a podcast, just so you know, with Benny F. Johnson. Uh, he's the executive director, so it's going to be more business focused uh, and designing for the future, which I'm kind of into. But I also wanted to ask, like, what is your favorite podcast? Would love to hear what your favorite podcast is for design. Is it 99% uh, Invisible? Do you like Debbie Millman's podcast, which I can't think of the name of right now, right? Or you do, do you listen to something else entirely? Uh... Oh yeah, use your fi find my find my wait. Y use the find my feature on your AirPods, and that works with Bluetooth. Chris, you're blowing my mind. Thank you for telling me that. All right. So again, just kind of curious if you guys have any favorite design podcasts. Right, they're popping up all the time. Design adjacent is. Uh, one of them and uh, you get the idea I'm gonna be on one next week for Adobe Max which is also big news as you can see right here that's starting next week um, and uh, yeah so stay tuned for the keynotes we announcing some new stuff, showing off a bunch of cool stuff, things like that. So uh, it's going to be awesome. And that's all you need to know, right? Because I know how hard we're working on all this stuff, right? I get it. I'm freaking was up so late last night recording, recording videos and content. Yeah, it's going to it's going to be big. And I just want you to be a part of it is all. That's all I'm saying. All right, visual conversations going on as well. You can see those links in a lot of the live streams, just so you know, sort of get involved, have a conversation. We change the subject every week, and you can dive into that by going to Adobe uh, Visual Conversations. Excuse me, it's not Adobe Visual Conversations, it's Max Visual Conversations. I'm so sorry. But here it is. Current theme is all about typography. So your favorite letter. Do you have a favorite letter? Ooh, I like the G. Um, signs, right? Uh, here's Heston Wilson contributed to it as well. And this is where you post work and you can actually have your comments off to the side. So there's Heston's work. Uh, you can go on down, add a comment, and join the conversation, as you can see right here, by uploading something as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, I really want to do that. I actually might do that this Friday for my master class. So that'll be a lot of fun. Mainly because I'm like really into Huston's work, man. It's so good. Yeah, Kimmy J. Max Hype. Kimmy, I know you're using your full name, but is it okay if I just still call you Kimmy J? Because I'm into it. All right. Uh, can we go on to... Some. I don't know if I'd call it pro tips, maybe resources, but uh, I want to talk about something new on the heels of Max and these visual conversations. Something new that uh, one of our, um, our um, let's think, product manager for um, Photoshop on the iPad. He released a video, so. Oh, thanks. Cecil remembers. Yeah, awesome. So, good to, good to just reading your comments. Michelle, thank you for that. Um, thank you, Cecil and Jack's in the house. All right. Philippines. All of the Philippines is here. And yes, I'm just reading Sanju's comment. Apple loves the notch. All right, let's move on from that because I kind of want to show you something that uh, Ryan Dumlau actually released or released a video on this. So I thought I'd just kind of share it. In case you missed the video, we could play the video, but I think it's kind of boring to just play a video of something that's coming to 
uh, Photoshop on the iPad. And this is the thing. Let's go into photos. Uh, sure. Yeah, is everybody seeing all these? Let's jump into uh, these, for instance. Let's jump in here. Let's grab this photo right here. And what I just opened up is a camera raw file. So we have camera raw supports and basically camera raw, Adobe camera raw in Photoshop on the iPad. We can see this image, I can hit auto, right? It starts to balance it out. And we can go ahead and enhance those shadows and obviously see that come through. We could finally, okay, see some of that detail that was being missed because it's a raw file. These are raw files on uh, in Photoshop on the iPad, right? We can start to tweak the color as well. We can make it more green by shifting everything uh, a little bit more green, but we can start to just take just the greens. So this is the color mix, and I can just increase the saturation for the greens out there, maybe the blues out there, and that's all I'm doing with this color mix. This making the green pop a little bit. So again, camera raw. Let's go into effects. Of course we want some vignetting, right? Like we do. And uh, we could throw a little more detail in there just by sharpening it, sharpening it like so. When you have something blurry, you really gotta be careful with sharpening, right? But that's all I'm doing is just showing you camera raw on the iPad. Here's another sneaky little thing. If I could show you this. Up at the top, do you see this? Uh, 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 uh. This is uh, import. So I could take this image, that's a raw image, right? And even if it's using the new iPhone Pro what, 13 Max, oops, I hit the wrong button. You could import as a smart object or as your own little layer. So I think that's pretty darn awesome, right? You got it. So there it is, you can import it as a smart object so it will retain all that information or as a layer. And then from there we can throw an adjustment layer in here and uh, maybe use hue and saturation, right? That's gonna make everything even more electric. But I could also paint on that mask, which is what I'm doing right now. Let's increase the size of this, let's paint out. Why is that even doing anything? It is working. There's not a lot going on in the sky. I would replace this sky, right? That's ultimately what I would do. I can come in, I could select this, right? Maybe I want to use uh, object selection tool, right? Let's try that object selection. And right in here, you can change this from rectangle to lasso, just like you can on the desktop. So let's just go around this whole image and let's just see what happens. See it's, if it's gonna go ahead and, yep, uh, basically. So right down here, we can add to it because it didn't get these mountains. Let's select that, there we go. And again, we can just kind of select these different parts. Again, it's object selection. It doesn't mean exact selection. So sometimes you do have to go in and select different parts, right? Was this the best tool for the job? Mm, I don't know, sometimes it's, Again, kind of like my fault for not selecting the right tool. So let's just go to the to the Ted Lasso tool. Got the lasso tool. There we are, and we can go ahead and make turn that into a mask, and then through a new leather layer underneath. Right there, you got it. How's everybody doing today? Good. So that's all I wanted to show you. Is uh, yeah, again, camera raw, and we could go ahead and open up, uh, say from photos grab another if i happen to have another image let's just everybody look at my per, all my personal stuff here apparently let's grab the sky from here from this image so i'm importing another smart object excuse me another a camera raw file this is a dng right and we could just hit that auto button and then we can import that as a smart object if we want to but i'm stealing that sky is what i'm basically doing right and does it need some work sure it doesn't quite match but you get the idea cool uh... uh... 
cool. All right, just kind of reading chat. And then we have our new image. Yeah, I need to decontaminate some colors like right back here, right? That needs to be actually blue and uh, not gold. But you get the idea. And I want to inspire you with not this stuff that I'm making, but stuff other people make. So let's go ahead and take a look at some what's new from various creatives around the world and the internets. All right, and I am back already. That was super fast. But I wanted to point out a couple of projects. You can find these under Discover. I get them off of Pinterest as well, not to worry. There's plenty of cool things out there. And what this does, as we review creative work from around the world, we can start to keep track of trends. So that's why I think this is important, just to be aware of trends. All right, let me just kind of switch screens and just kind of focus on this first one here, which I really love from someone called uh, A-I-T-C-H, H, itch, I don't know, right here, itch, right? Once upon our planet. So again, right here, kind of walking, oh yeah, cracks, you can see the sky, but this is the book that I thought was really cool because I love all the detail in it. So you can easily see this made like in Illustrator. Uh, if we check off to the side, um, you know, it could have been hand illustrated. We might find out at the bottom, uh, but this looks very much like it's actually like painted using acrylic or something. I'm not sure. But either way, it's inspiring, and I'm into all this texture, right? Even the gradation of these dots from a more of a yellow to a green, right? Which is super cool. Yes, once upon a planet. Like, look at this detail. Again, just I'm just kind of into it. That's all. Detail captures my eye because uh, somebody put a lot of work into this stuff, right? So that's why I'm into it. Once upon our planet. Okay, let's just get inspired with some other work as I have a couple minutes left. How, uh, how does everybody feel about sky replacement in Photoshop? Good question, Matthew. I personally like sky replacement. I like the mere fact that it just does all the masking for me. So even if I don't use that sky, it cuts out everything for me. So I like it for that reason alone. This is Argyle by J. Katrina Buterit from, looks like, uh, Lithuania. And <clears throat> I picked this project as well because of all this texture that's added. Again, very much like um, it's made in Illustrator, but there's noise added to it, right? So again, that level of detail, not making it look like an Illustrator project, and also pointing out the controlled palette, which I think is super strong, right? This nice controlled palette. Here we have complementary colors. So we have these cool colors and these warm colors, like my shirt. And uh, again, you can see just using those complementary colors. That's kind of what's happening with most of these, right? Warm colors, cool colors with the purple, right? Same here. Tell me this isn't gorgeous. It's getting me jealous. I'm so... All right. All right, so again, super cool perspective here as well. And again, I'm just really into that texture. This becomes really important, but you have to kind of think about where people are gonna be viewing this. When you view it full screen, all this, like you could see this texture. It might get a little lost, uh, the smaller it is, but just kind of be aware of uh, the textures that you're using and where it's showing up. So if this was posted to Instagram, what would come through, what wouldn't, you know? Uh, you get the idea. Uh, yeah, so PS has tools to make it better without the robot. Sure. But then without the robot means me doing it manually, which is going to take me time. So even if a tool gets you 80% there, that's 80% of the work that I didn't have to do. But really, like, it's up to you as a designer to kind of pick what you think is going to be the best tool for the job. Right. So lastly, some photography, of course, is going to be gorgeous because the subject's gorgeous. 
right? Framing of it's correct. The camels aren't in the perfect center. They're off to the right. Because if you have images like this, they need somewhere to go. So give them room to travel, right? So they're offset and it just looks really good. They have somewhere to travel to. And I just think it's really good. All these compositions are really cool. Actually, I didn't see this person initially, but look at this guy. He's hanging out there, you know, just hanging out, him and his cool kicks, right? Again, super cool photos, as you can see, from Alexander Munayer from Qatar, Doha. So again, just creative from around the world to get you inspired. Hopefully you're getting inspired today and you're motivated to conquer the world. <sighs> Let's go out and conquer the world with design and, and love, huh? How that's having all the feels, right? I can go on and on, but uh, again, my time is up and uh, we do have our full schedule as well today as you can see so let's stick around for val as she dives into photoshop how to make this stuff doing some gradient effects which we're, we're, we're updating all right so i said too much i hope i don't get in trouble that means it's time for me to sign off thanks so much for hanging out with me i really appreciate you guys uh big hug love you to death uh stay nice and special and healthy and make sure you call your mom we'll see you guys soon <laughs>